Drive down Piper Drive and into Maple Leaf Shopping Center and you will find a humble building, home to some of the most caring people who make up the organization fittingly called CARE. Companion Animal Rescue Effort is a no-kill, all-volunteer organization helping dogs get a second chance at a new life. The mission of CARE is to place um, the, the rescue dogs in a good loving home. Mission of CARE is to find good loving homes for abandoned or stray dogs and to make sure that they're spayed and neutered so we don't have more abandoned and stray dogs. So CARE's mission is to save as many dogs as possible from euthanasia. The mission of CARE is to get dogs who might otherwise be uh, euthanized because they have no homes and get them homes. CARE's mission is to get as many adoptable dogs out of the shelters and into homes with their own families and that they can be in forever and live a happy, happy life and not get killed. CARE has been around for a very, very long time and it's, it's just a bunch of good-hearted people who want to do right by animals. I, I think they're a fantastic organization. There's a lot of wonderful people doing a very necessary um, job helping to find these, these other animals. They're, they're not the young puppies, they're not the young kittens that have been, you know, bred to be a specific, um, you know, a specific breed targeted at a specific um, person. But you're taking these, the dogs and cats that need to find homes, or other animals too, birds, uh, reptiles, rats, guinea pigs, um, that otherwise um, would, you know, are taken to the shelters or um, taken to be disposed of. We give them the commitment that we keep them until they're adopted or for some reason their life comes to an end. I love working with CARE. It is, in my opinion, one of the most knowledgeable, humane, well-run care organizations for adoption organizations, rescue organizations that I have ever come across. And I'm glad that, that they give me the responsibility of doing most of their veterinary work. It's, it's an absolute pleasure working with them. These, these women get together and they come together and they they put aside their differences if they have any in order to help the dogs. I, I think, like I said, their heart's in the right place. Their vision and their purpose is unanimous among their organization. Why do you volunteer with CARE? Um, it's a sickness. Um, seriously, it's like one of those things that you do because it feels good and then you just keep doing it and the more dogs that we can pull, more dogs lives we can save. I mean that's it's all about I don't have kids, I have animals, I have a ranch and it's important for us to be able to do this, to be able to get as many out and adopt it out. I adopted from care, uh, adopted adopted a puppy from care and then I kept finding out through the friend that took me to care to start with what the need there was for people to help take care of these animals because they were being euthanized right and left at the shelter and puppies were being euthanized because they were too young to, uh, to see that in California you can't adop adopt a puppy out until they're eight weeks old that puppy would come in at six weeks and the shelter wasn't going to give them two weeks to wait till they were legal so we'd just go in and scoop them up and I started with a bunch of puppies all kinds of different puppies I still do a lot of puppies but um, we do adult dogs too but if they if they're going to get euthanized and they have they haven't even had a chance yet it's not right we are part of an organization that has um, an animal's best interests at heart Really I've always liked animals since I was really young and I wanted to find like a place where I could interact with animals and help the humanity at the same time. I just come and play with dogs on Saturdays. It's a great way to spend some time. Uh, I'm very excited to be able to be here. And, uh, I, I want to keep going. I decided to come here because I love dogs and I want, I like the whole idea of not like getting the dogs off the streets and finding good homes for them. And I thought that as I was volunteering that I'd end up getting attached to more of the dogs, but I'm just really happy when I see them adopted. I, I like holding, holding dogs, uh, especially for holding puppies. 
Oh, they're so cute. I think I like holding the dogs the best. <laughs> and I like taking them for a walk too because it seems to make them happy. With choosing adoption, um, you know that you're helping what, whatever dog you choose, whatever dog also chooses you, um, off to a better start than they had to begin with. Um, you also know that if the pet is owner surrendered, that you get a chance at a second home. Mostly the benefit is that, that there will be one less dog that dies. Breeders usually have a choice in the matter as to whether or not they're going to breed and have litters and hopefully they have the sense to um, have some idea of whether or not they can get rid of the puppies or support the puppies if they can't. While the dog's just running around loose, uh, if nobody wants them, they ultimately end up killed. Giving them a chance, they're giving them, they're pairing them up with families, they're allowing them to um, become a, a vital member of a family, which is wonderful. There's always dogs out there who um, are born and like they don't have a home to go to. So then they get put into shelters where they don't really have a family, they don't really have a place to belong to. And so when you adopt, you can find a dog that's really uh, friendly and, and you can help them at the same time. You get to save a life. You have a lot of these um, animals are very appreciative. Um, they've had hard times. They know a good thing when they see it. Um, they bond closely to us. Then they just have a lot to give. There are so many dogs out there now that need homes that are getting euthanized in shelters because the shelters can't keep up with the amount. And so-called breeders, a good breeder is a breeder that makes sure the dog goes to a home that it will stay in. But there's so many throwaway dogs out there now that are great dogs that need homes. It's, it just seems like, why not start there? If it, you know, there's purebreds in the shelters, there's purebreds here, there's hard breds, they're all you know, they're all good dogs, and they all need homes. The dogs come in, they live with foster parents, and the foster parents really get to know their temperaments and personalities and habits. And so somebody coming into care can hear a lot more about the dogs. Plus, these are dogs that are not bred for show or bred for money or anything like that. They're dogs that, you know, would otherwise be euthanized or, you know, disposed of in some other way, right? And so, you know, you're saving a life versus if you buy from a breeder, sometimes they will breed animals to, to meet the demand that they have. And so bringing, you know, more lives in when there's a bunch of, uh, you know, adoptable dogs that are available. Rescue organization situation is because I like that because the dog is living in a house and a rescue organization where the foster home is a home, the people that are fostering the dog are not going to sugarcoat what's going on with that dog and they've, they've lived with the dog, the dog is living in somebody's home. They're not getting that in a shelter and then also if it's a breeder, depending on the breeder, the, the breeders are usually trying to get the puppies home right away so they can get the foundation rolling right for the puppy but they don't know what how the dog is going to be when he gets a little bit older. Whereas if a dog was in a rescue situation, chances are it's a little bit older. Although they have a past, there's, you know, they, they, they have come with some past experiences, they can become just absolutely wonderful, amazing members of the family. I have seen some dogs that have been in the most hideous conditions, and they are the most social creatures, the most pleasant things. I, they, they just were not affected uh, badly in the way you think they may have been. They've just been so gentle and so wonderful. Most of the dogs that we get come from um, the, sh the shelters. There's several that we deal with. We get every day. We get. Uh, lists from the shelters and pictures of the dogs that are available for uh, for um, rescue. A lot of times they'll be dogs that are um, too young, like I said about the puppies, or have some kind of medical condition, need teeth cleaning, need this, need that, and we'll take them and do that, and then we do as much medical as we can possibly do if they need it, um, and spay and neuter. 
they come from all over. They come from shelters, so they come from, you know, places like the Silicon Valley Animal Control. They come from the Humane Society. Typically, dogs that are adoptable by those organizations will be left at those organizations, and so we get some that are a little bit more difficult to adopt. Shy, shy dogs that don't necessarily show well at one of these places that needs a home to, you know, to live in and get to know the people. We sometimes get returns when people are, you know, their lives change and they're unable to keep the dogs. We've had um, dogs when people have passed away, their uh, family brings the dog in or back to care if they were adopted from care. Um, we've had real estate agents find dogs in homes that have been foreclosed upon. Dogs just tied to, the, you know, tied to chains or left in boxes or left in a house to run loose while they've left, on, you know, left the house. So, like I said, all kinds of places. So the rescue organizations kind of tend to get the dogs that have more of the issues. And so CARE will take in the dogs and they can work with them which I, and work with the dogs. Most of the dogs we pull are from local animal shelters, Los Banos, San Jose, Humane Society, Silicon Valley, or owners bring them in and ask for them to rehome. We get a lot of uh, mixed breeds which are a much better choice for most people. But we also go to the Humane Society or the animal shelter, various animal shelters around, and get dogs who need homes. How easy is it to spay and neuter your dog? Oh, very easy. All you have to do is take it to a vet. It's very inexpensive. It's part of the adoption fee that we have at CARE here that every dog will be spayed or neutered. This is a more difficult thing or more costly thing. There are programs that are available programs through the county that subsidize it, so that way we can get all the dogs and all the cats that we possibly can spayed and neutered so we can control the pet population. We really want to make veterinary care a very affordable thing for everyone. I think we're spay neuter happy. I think we're spay neuter happy in this country. I think it's just, I think it's important. I do think there's an overpopulation of pets. Spaying and neutering doesn't keep the irresponsible people from being careful. If you're dealing with a situation where there's too many animals, there's too many dogs, there's too many cats running around, and they're going out into the world and they're having trouble finding homes, yes, spay and neuter them. I think it's important, absolutely. But I just don't like it being a blanket. Uh, answer to issue to things that it doesn't really address. I think that owning a pet, there is a must be a sense of real responsibility when you own a pet. It's not a disposable item. It's something that requires a commitment. Most of all, the commitment has to be to love for that pet. You have to love the pet. If you don't, it's a social item. It's absolutely, it's like having children and just having them because a friend has kids. I want an organization that you don't go in there and interview them about the dogs. I want them to interview you to the point where you're insulted, <laughs> kind of, sort of. I want, them, I want them to ask you for your resume and say, what are your qualifications to take this dog? People are put off by that, but I want, I, that's what I want a rescue organization to do. I want them to put the potential adopter or the owner through their paces to make sure they're serious because if you're kind of, you know, hemming and hawing and not sure if you want to adopt them, you have no business getting one. But you need to be prepared to say, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I prepare, this is how many hours a day I have, this is the situation, this is the setup we're going to have, and we're ready to own a dog. And CARE does that in a nice way. They do it in a nice way, but I, I think that they do an excellent job with what they're doing now. It's an absolute joy when pet owning is taken and is done right. It's an absolute travesty when it's not done right. Bring in towels, blankets, toys, um, to come by and even see the dogs, look on the website, um, because they might know someone who wants to adopt a dog. Um, just all those little things, even come in and volunteer. Um, because every person is a step closer to getting their pets a forever home. We tend to run at a deficit. We actually spend, spend more money each month than we take in from adoptions. Um, so we rely on grants and things like that and donations from people. We always take money donations because the more money we have in here because we are all here, 
the more dogs we can pull. But dog food, um, anything you want to donate, towels, blankets, toys, all of that works to keep the dogs occupied and busy and it's stuff that care doesn't have the money out for. So we're always looking for volunteers. So Saturdays we have our pet fairs here at this location and so we need people to come walk dogs and play with dogs and so socializing them. I can just donate donate like items or money to help keep businesses like this running or um, volunteer their time to come and help out and actually interact and socialize with the dogs. We also need towels, we need dog food, you know, donations, things like that, dog cages, um, you know, and then just let your friends know if they're looking to adopt or get a dog that this is a great place to get one from. Even coming and hanging out and, and giving us moral support is a good thing.